guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing really, really well. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. And today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, is a B&M haul. I am loving B&M. I mean, who doesn't love B&M, let's be honest. I've bought a few things that I wanted to show you before I kind of open them up and start using them. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy this. I kind of wish I'd picked up more, but I still picked up quite a selection, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you love B&M hauls and you love all things cleaning, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out so much. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribed down below. And if you want to get notifications of when I upload new videos, then just click that little bell icon next to it. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Put your hands up if you have a Zoflora addiction. <laughs> um, this is quite excessive. There's seven different bottles of Zaflora here, but there is a method behind my madness. So obviously at the moment we're now going into autumn, or I like to think we're going into autumn and winter, and Zaflora are obviously going to come out with more seasonal scents. So they usually come out with like cinnamon ones and things like that that are a bit more appropriate for the season. However, I love citrus scents and like fruity scents and things like that. So they've been my absolute favorite. So I thought I would stock up because I didn't want to be without them. A few of these are limited edition as well. So I knew that as soon as they stop doing them, like they'll stop doing them for a little while, if not until next year. And I just wasn't ready to part with my like non-fruity Zafloras. So I've got a couple of different scents here. So I have pink grapefruit. I love this one. I think this might be one of my favourites. I'll probably say that about all of these, but I do love this one. This was one of the ones I got last year as well. And as soon as it was available this year to pick up, I did pick up another one because I loved it so much. So there's two, three pink grapefruit ones. <laughs> that is quite excessive. I mean, you know what? You get through these quite quickly. And my favourite thing to do with these is put a capful in hot water in the kitchen sink and it just makes the whole downstairs of the house smell really, really gorgeous. And so I think these are 99 pence each as well. So you can't go wrong for that price. And when you find a scent that you love, you do just like feel the need to stock up. So I've got three pink grapefruit ones. Another one that I got now, I've not actually tried this one yet. I'll give it another smell because I can't actually remember what it smells like. But this is the Paradise Peach Smell again. This is like a more summery one that I just saw and I thought, I've not tried it yet. And again, they're probably gonna go out of the store soon. Okay, I don't love that one as much as the pink grapefruit one. I might have smelled it in store and only bought one for that reason, but it still smells nice. It still like cures my like fruity addiction. So I have another one of these. Again, they have so many uses that it definitely won't go to waste, but it's definitely not my favorite summery one. I really wanted to get the lemon one, but I've not seen that anywhere near me. So if any of my friends or family do see a lemon Zaflora literally anywhere, please pick me up one and I'll give you back the money. But yeah, this is a Paradise Peach one. Now, this is one that I absolutely loved when I smelt it. And this one is limited edition as well. So I picked up a few. I'm just going to smell it again. Oh, that smells unreal. Now, this isn't like citrusy. This is a Tropical Twist Zaflora and it was limited edition. So for that reason, I picked up three. <laughs> limited edition does things to me. But this genuinely smells like a really lovely cocktail. I saw that there was coconut on the front and I don't like coconut scents. It just reminds me of Malibu too much and I just don't even wanna think about that. But it's more pineapple-y I would say and it's so refreshing and it just smells so good. Like I cannot wait to just start using this everywhere. I'm also really looking forward to when it gets a little bit colder and the heating starts going on to put this on radiators because it just, makes your house smell so good. And so in the transition from summer to autumn and even to winter, I'll definitely be using this. For me, fruity scents don't go out of fashion, so I wouldn't feel like I have to just use this in the summer. But for me, there's like this and then cinnamon. I don't really care for like the pumpkin-y smell. So for me, this will like definitely see me through the autumn as well until I'm ready to use like warmer scents. But we're not quite there yet. I love Christmas, but I'm not quite ready for my house to smell like cinnamon and like spiced orange. So I got three of those. There's so many uses for Sephora and yeah, I'm just, I'm just so happy. The other thing as well, I just thought I'd quickly mention, I know I ramble so much, but 
This smells so good that I would actually put this in my reed diffuser. So I have a few reed diffusers in like different bathrooms and things like that to help it smell good. And so I would probably dilute this down a little bit, put a capful in a reed diffuser and then dilute it a little bit with water and then turn the reeds and then that will help that room smell amazing. Like that's one of my new favorite ways to use Sephora because you get just so many uses out of it. I love it so much. I can't believe I never used to like try this and now I have like seven new ones to add to my collection. Bearing in mind, I've still got a few that are open and currently on use. So yeah, three. And then the next thing I bought was this spray bottle and this was one pound in B&M which was such a bargain and as you can see here there is a little bit of water that I've actually put some Sephora and water in here already because I just wiped down my sides this morning um, but this being only a pound I thought would be brilliant. A lot of the bottles that I do the Sephora and water mixes in are usually like old spray bottles and so I just wanted something that was specific for it so I knew what it was because sometimes I'll do it in like old bottles and it gets a little bit confusing and um, I'll still try and recycle or upcycle old bottles to make my own cleaning things but I just thought this one was really practical. I like the fact it was clear so I could see how much was left and yeah I thought it was just a really good size for a pound as well. You can't really go wrong. So yeah this is really good and it's got really good spray to it as well. You can close it off which is really important if you have children running around. But yeah this was only a pound and I just couldn't not pick it up and it was with the Sephora's as well so it's obviously like Mrs Hinch vibes. But yeah I'm really pleased to pick this up. So another thing that I have already opened up um, I'm terrible at filming these videos, but these are 10 cysteine blocks. So these are obviously for your toilet, you just put them in the cysteine at the back and it helps. I just, I don't even know if it necessarily helps to clean it, but for me, when I have like cysteine blocks in my toilets, it just makes me feel like it's nice and clean, especially when guests are coming over. And for 10 for a pound, you literally cannot beat the price. These are the cheapest place I've ever seen these. Granted, they're not as big as other ones you might get, but kind of all in all, it still kind of adds up and 10 for a pound I couldn't believe it so I've already put two in our two toilets well we have three we have an ensuite as well but to be honest that's just like Richard's shaving room I don't really go in there um so yeah they are of really good value and I'll probably get more of these when I go because I just love having them like constantly in the toilets I always get blue or green they had pink ones as well but I just think that's a bit weird um <laughs> so I always go for blue or green but yeah really really cheap so the next up product I got was another spray. Now we got this one. This is a Sif multi-purpose antibacterial ultra fast spray. Now I know that I've just said that I make my own sprays by using Sephora and water, but this is one that Rich picked up probably in my last B&M haul that I filmed on this channel. If not, it was definitely around that time. I know I was pregnant when he picked this up because I remember smelling this and loved the smell of it. So I thought I'd pick up another one. This is really good. Just because it is quite quick, I feel like Sephora I love using before I go to bed when I do like a speed clean of the house and Heidi's in bed and I can just like take my time with it. But with this it's perfect to use just when you want a quick spray down. I love the smell of it too. Yeah, I don't really know like what the smell is. Like it's not as nice smelling as Sephora. It's just kind of smells like cleaner but for some reason I really like the smell of it and this was on like a really cheap price when I went in B&M so I thought I'd pick another one up because I know that we've liked this in the past so there's that one. Now another thing we picked up is another multi-surface polish. Now we go through polish like no other. I don't actually understand how we use so much polish but I thought I'd pick another one up. I think this was a pound as well which is so so good value. It's one of those things that when you go into B&M for one thing you come out with so many but can't go wrong with polish and like I said we do go through it very quickly so we have another one of those. The next product is a washing machine cleaner so I really really need to like fully clean my washing machine it is in need of some TLC so I thought I would pick this up and I think you use this um, yeah so you actually use this in the washing machine so you actually put it in and you do a 60 degree wash with it and then it helps to really like clean out the drum and everything so I thought that was worth a try this was 2 dollars which again wasn't too expensive and this is a lemon breeze smell as well I love lemon scents like lemon and lime are my favorite smells ever and Yankee Candle vanilla lime is like the best but yeah I thought I'd pick this one up this is a single use one 2 dollars it's worth a try because like I said I just really really need to sort out the washing machine but yeah I thought I'd pick that one up now the next product is 
the pink stuff. This is like one of my new favorite like cleaning products ever. I'm sure that this was like 89p. It was definitely under a pound. And this went through a phase of not being available anywhere, like nowhere at all. And now everywhere's got it again, which is great. It's the same with the minkies as well. I did try to get a minky, but they didn't have any, which was so annoying. And I think next next time I go in, I might just get like the scrub buddy, which is like a dupe for it if they don't have minkies again. But yeah, I thought I'd pick up another pink stuff. The reason that I got this specifically, like I said, I really need to clean out the washing machine. And I've seen that this works really well when you get, like take out the drawer of the washing machine, put this on a toothpaste and really work it in. It gets rid of any buildup, any detergent that's kind of clogging anything, any like mold and stuff like, You'll be surprised if you haven't pulled out the drawer of your washing machine, do so because it's probably going to need a little bit of TLC. So that's what I got this for specifically, but this again has so many uses. I love cleaning our oven with this because it works like no other, like better than oven cleaner in my opinion. So yeah, you just cannot have too much of this and I love it so much and I've seen so many other uses for this too. So I'm really excited to try that seeing as I've got another one. I have already gone through one before so I just thought I'd get another. So that's it for today's B&M haul. I'm really gutted that I didn't come away with any candles <laughs> and I normally go into B&M for like one thing and come out with like five candles that I definitely didn't need but I went in actually needing candles this time around and they just didn't have any that stood out to me. They had like no autumnal ones which is like kind of what I was vibing. I was looking for a like yeah like an autumnal like spicy one I don't really know I just was like looking for something like that but they had like no autumn stuff when I went in I don't know whether they were still like in the transition but obviously like all the Sephora's were still like summer scents and all the candles were too so I'm hoping that they get those in really really soon they had like different candles and stuff but nothing that like stood out and some of them I feel like can smell quite synthetic some smell really really lovely but the ones that I love just weren't in there so that's why I didn't walk away with any that's like willpower to not actually come out of any candles but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you have and don't forget to subscribe down below if you enjoy hauls and things like that and I'll see you guys in my next video